Percussion family. It keeps the beat for all the other instruments. You can make sounds and percussion instruments by striking with sticks or mallets or even your hand. <laughs> you even get to shake some of them. <laughs> And the beat is everywhere. Like when you tap your pencil on your desk, or when you hear a clock ticking, or when you listen to your heartbeat. PJ, what about your report? <clears throat> While on location here, I found that there are two different kinds of percussion instruments, pitch and non-pitched. What kind of pitch? This kind of pitch. The pitch is the highness or lowness of the note. Pitched percussion instruments play a melody, while non-pitched percussion instruments give the beat. PJ, could you show us? I thought you'd never ask. The snare drum is a non-pitched percussion instrument, while the xylophone is a pitched percussion instrument. Let's play a song on both of them. Aha! The drum played the rhythm of the melody, while the xylophone played the same rhythm but produced pitches that actually created a melody. Impressive, PJ. So, PJ, what exactly is rhythm? Simple. Rhythm is the way musical notes of different lengths are arranged in time. So, now that we know the difference between pitched and non-pitched percussion instruments, let's head out in the field and see how many we can find. As promised, the king of the non-pitched percussion instruments, the drums. These drums are so popular in Latin music, and you're going to hear why. The non-pitched percussion section of the marching band is so important, they really have to keep the beat for the other band members. Did you know there are three types of drums in the marching band? The parade drum, or snare, the bass drum, and the tom-tom. Yes, of course. The snare drum has wire coils stretched across the base of the drum. The tension can be adjusted to change the sound it makes when played. Coils are actually called a snare. And the snare gives it flair. <laughs> when it's released, the snare drum actually sounds like a tom tom. Wild, huh? The bass drum is much larger than the snare and helps to keep a steady beat for the marching band. fun to play and so much fun to wear. <laughs> you don't think this bass drum makes me look fat, do you? No, 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 Bob. We're both right. The piano is a pitch percussion instrument. Let me show you why. Check it out. The piano has 88 keys. The low notes on the left and the high notes on the right. Each key acts like a lever. When the key is struck, it hits a string inside. That striking motion is why the piano is considered a percussion instrument. Those strings are why some people call the piano a string instrument. Hit it.
And like the drum set, the piano takes body coordination because both hands have to play different lines of the music at the same time while your feet work the pedals. Let's see those pedals, shall we? <laughs> These pedals control how soft, loud, or sustained the note played will be. What is truly special about the piano is that it is one of the few instruments that can stand alone and perform without the help of any other instruments. It's such a blast to play and so fun to learn, but it's just one of the many pitch percussion instruments. As you can see, percussion is everywhere. There's just no end to it. Think of our feet as drumsticks and the floor as a drum. Well, now that we found our beat with a melody, there's no time before we find our percussionist. We just gotta keep on tapping. <laughs> this is PJ for WPJ TV News. Ah, yes, the pitched percussion instruments are certainly melodic. But I think our viewers at home would like to know if there are any drums that are considered pitched percussion instruments. BJ. You bet your boots there are, Bob. The timpani is a pitched percussion instrument. It's also called the kettle drum. It does look like a kettle, but what makes it a pitched percussion instrument is its pedal. Hey, that rhymes. When you press on the pedal, it tightens the head of the drum and changes the pitch. When you release the pedal, it releases the tension. That's only the beginning. There are so many brothers and sisters in the percussion family, and they all have their own special sound. You want to see some of them? Yeah. The bongos. A go-go. The vibra slap. The maracas. Some shakers, a cowbell, <laughs> a calf bell, <laughs> the temple block, the cha cha, the cassinet. <laughs> The wood block, the tambourine. The gong. Congas. Jembe. A shiko. Stool. The triangle and the symbols. <laughs> These large brass plates are perfect for adding the finishing accents to an exciting piece of music. The ringing sound created by the symbols crashing together can be stopped by touching the symbols to your body to stop the vibration. PJ, stop the ringing. Whoa, <laughs> what a rush. <laughs>